Alrighty, morning everybody. Well, after um after doing my cast video um about an hour or so ago, I kind of got to talking about ads and stuff. So it just kind of kind of piqued my curiosity. I actually uh, did a Google search on YouTube sponsorships. You know, this is this article here was like one of the first that came up. So I think I got about about a third of the way through this. And it just got to where I was actually talking out loud at the article, so I figured, eh, I better make a video about this. So, um, and also, I am going to be having some music run in the background, and I have played this kind of music before, uh, Stone Rebels Trinity album, and, um, and it's, um, uh, like I said, I have used this before. It's, uh, it's free to use, so, uh, you know, copyright free and all that, because I'm trying to keep my videos ad-free. Which should kind of set the tone for the rest of this article. Let me go ahead and fire that up. Oh, and um, uh, website is uh, Podia. I never heard of it. Like I said, this is just one of the things that came, one of the first things that came up on the Google search. So, oh, and um. Before I, before I get started, no, I don't have an interest in it. Um, considering all the uh, BS that I've been on the receiving end, or considering all the BS that I've been on the receiving end of from other content creators, uh, I don't really want one. I mean, if, 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 that's what your, if that's what your channel turns into in order to get them, no thanks. So. But, but anyway... Um, name of the article, How to Get Sponsorships on YouTube is a Small Channel. Oh, and this is fairly recent. Yeah, I saw this too. Like, I ain't gonna be reading no article that came out in, like, 1998 or something. Fuck that. Wondering how to land. And how to... How to monetize your channel. Now, now, I'll be, uh, kind of, kind of... It's got to set the record straight on here. Now, what I love, uh, content creation to pay all my bills? Hell yeah! But, but again, with all the... Uh-oh. YouTube's fucking up. I gotta fix it. Okay, there we go. But, you know, considering all the, you know, considering all the, the BS on some of these videos that I've been on the receiving end of, I'll just keep my job at Walmart. Thank you. Looks like we got a bunch. Now, I don't think I'm going to be going through all of this. But like I said, I just... After reading part of this, um, I figured I better make a video about it. Um, as long as you have an engaged audience. Uh, I got a few people checking out my videos, but... After reading part of this, it, this is, whole thing is going to be a no-go. You'll know what I mean as I talk more. Here's how to get, make your channel look professional. Okay, so this is just the uh, Cliff Notes version. But I'll probably talk more, but nope. Ain't got that. Um, OBS, Windows Movie Maker, and Paint. And Microsoft Paint. That's all I got, so quite far from professional. Um... Don't know how many subs I have, but it's a lot less than 100. Reach out to brands. Again, got no interest in sponsorship. Branch out to other platforms. I don't know what that means. So. You can wow potential brand partners. Yeah, and like I said in my cast video, it's also one of these one of the reasons why I excuse me, it's one of the reasons why I don't watch those mega creators. Because of all the all the bullshit channel fluff they got on their videos. The ten highest spending brands spend a total of three hundred and sixty eight million. It's Yeah, this is a bad document format. Very hard to highlight 
Um, Medium.com. Um, it's another one I check out. Uh, it's Jessica Wildfire, one of my favorite authors. But yeah, their website has the same issue too. It's very difficult to highlight because that. Plus, I can't go from left to right because that happens. I have to go from right to left. 368 million on YouTube sponsorships. 36% of all influencer campaigns will cover exactly how to get even with the small channel types. Okay, product sponsorships are on one brand. When Rand sends you a free, okay, I've seen this before. Yeah, they'll they'll actually dedicate whole videos to like, you know, like unboxing videos. You know, oh wow, this came in the mail. Here, let me unbox it. Oh wow, this is so awesome. That's what that is. The product sponsorship. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Yeah, that, like I said, whenever you see things along the lines of unboxing videos or videos where people are trying out a new item for the first time and they're actually, you know, making a whole video about it, that's what that is. The product sponsorship. Much bigger, like... Um, the channel that I, that I don't really hardly watch anymore called Animal Logic. I used, I used to watch that show religiously. Then, um, then she started off. She started going all these long safari trips and stuff. You know, actually going out in the wild and just, you know, just basically being a tourist. That's what, uh, I think that's what happened to her. She got, I think she got bit by the old sponsorship bug and now she's doing this too, but, you know, I mean, great getting free trips and all that, but on the downside, I don't really care to watch her channel anymore. Now when she's doing that, I mean, I'll, you know, I, I liked her, I liked her channel when it was first started. I mean, if I wanted to watch, uh, if I wanted to watch Safari videos, I'd watch Planet Earth or something, or, or a nature documentary. Never heard of Breakaway on a Budget. As well as Discount Code. Ah, yes, this too. Um, I said this on my cast video too. Um, one of the, one of the channels, Triple KO, it's a fighting game podcast. Um, I'll still watch it, but I'm very leery on it. Like, the first thing I look at now is their, uh, description. If I see anything like, uh, you can buy, you can get, or get 50% off of Manscaped by typing in this promotion code. I, I don't even watch the video. Fuck that. So, but yeah, that, that's another one. It's a product sponsorship. Yeah. More progression. Oh. Uh. Um, okay, and this, this is kind of, uh, this is kind of part and parcel to the, uh, product sponsorship. They're making, uh, they're making a commission for every item that, uh, for every, uh, item that they sell. Like, for every, uh, every time they use the promotion code that you gave out, you get a commission on that. So, I mean, I'm, I'm a content, you know, I became a content creator to create content. I mean, not be a freaking salesman. And I do enough of that at work, you know, stocking products to the shelves. I'm already a salesman, in a way. I feel like sponsorship. You can apply to join a brand. I'm 
Never heard of them. Why well, should buy them? Of course, of course, when they um, when they do the video on this, they'll probably, they'll probably give you probably just basically singing all birds of praises about how wonderful their product is, but not. Well, because every time you click that link, I make commission. You know, help keep me from getting a real job. I mean, you can't, I can't blame them for that. I mean, I mean, work at, you know, work at a Walmart or pretty much any, any kind of retail. I mean, hell, I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy, but, you know. You know, but when you're, when the only re you know when you're the, the only reason you're showing a product that you'd otherwise want nothing to do with is just you know just make money you, you're not very, you're coming off as disingenuous when you do that so get a free pair of socks with any purchase except underwear are the highest level of in a paid okay so all of these three paid YouTube affiliate product they all kind of go hand in hand and also as I was uh, perusing this part of the article I was almost under the, under the impression too that how you plug the sponsor it's up to you how you want to do it. It's your channel, your content, etc. So, so that, like I said, that's the impression I was on, I'm under. Like the sponsors aren't telling you where to put it or where to put your, where to put your plug. That you're doing that, you know, it's up to you. So when I went on a rant about about ads on my uh, cast video, this is what I, you know, this is what I was implying. It's the content creators. They can plug the sponsors however they want. So, when they plug their sponsor right smack dab in the middle of a video, that's a dick move. So, very discourteous. So, if you're going to plug your sponsor, you either do it at the very beginning or at the very end of your video. Not in the middle of it. But, yeah, I... It just, but they're all basically the same thing, only different. If that makes any sense at all. Paid gigs are Yeah, you promote. Oh, I see what this is. This is a. This is a flat. It seems to be a flat amount, a flat dollar amount. Whereas the other ones were just like straight commission and stuff like that. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, I stopped around this part. This is when I decided to make a video on this. Make your channel look professional. Nope. That won't be me. Um, no, I'm not I'm not saying I want my channel to be as unprofessional as possible, but um again, paint, you know, Microsoft Paint, Windows Movie Maker, you know, just basic tools. Uh quite far from looking professional. If anyone's seen my uh cast videos and seen the uh, thumbnails on them those are done with just MS paint that's it so yeah quite ghetto um now in case anyone wants to ask well have you ever thought about using better better programs yeah um but problem is is uh, I've actually looked into into video editing software but it's I think at least 90% of what I've looked at it's like trying to look it's too much like rocket science it has to be just as easy if not easier than Windows Movie Maker I mean you can't hard you can't do a whole lot of Windows Movie Maker but at least it's more user friendly so yeah I've looked at better stuff but there's slim and none but yeah so Dressed in the part you want your channel to look professional and welcoming. 
So, but like I, like I said, yeah, it, I'm a very ghetto channel. So, like I said, it, this won't be happening anytime soon. Okay, uh, I don't think I have a banner image. I don't have a channel trailer. Um, I've got an about and I've got, I mean, I got content, I've got, uh, I got playlists and stuff, so. As far as a banner image, as far as a banner image, I could probably throw one up, but I haven't, nothing really suited my fancy, so. I'm kind of like, I kind of have the, I think it's the same thing on Twitch. I don't think I have a banner image. I've got an avatar, but that's about it. But same thing there, it's just, not for lack of trying, I just, can't think of anything worth sticking up there that I, you couldn't already find on my avatar. Okay, no problems there. I mean, I post a... Uh, I stream almost every day. Or, these days, I stream... I most likely stream on my off days, but on my work nights, less so. But even then, I mean, already... I'm always putting content out there, though. Okay, um, same thing here. Same thing. Great thumbnail images. Actually, the thumbnail images that you see in the, a lot of these videos these days, the only reason why they look the way they look is because of the YouTube algorithm. Like, yeah, there's a... The algorithm actually looks at thumbnails like they want a... Like, they want your face. They Your face needs to show clearly on the thumbnail. Um, the title... I think it needs to show clearly somewhere on there. And then, you know, that that kind of thing. But whereas, if you've ever seen mine, it's just... It's just the, uh, the album cover of the music I'm playing in the background. And then, like, Joe's cast, and then the date, which I made it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take another joint. Canva? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to find a place to write that down. Canva. Right. That's gonna be another um, image making program right here. I might look into that one. Like I said, just, I mean, just because my channel's ghetto doesn't mean I'm not looking. Doesn't mean I ain't looking. I think um, when it comes to creating content, I tend to, it's not, it's not quantity over quality. It's just speed over um speed over accuracy I guess I mean I'm up I need to be able to put I need to be able to make my videos quick I don't want to be spending all night you know trying to make it every, everything look absolutely beautiful and all that other stuff I don't have time for that but gotta move along adventure junkies never heard of them but yeah here's this is what I'm talking about right here for thumbnails this is what the YouTube algorithm looks at. And I need a... Look at something real quick. Okay. So you guys should be able to see my cursor. Then. So yeah, you know, you got... You got the product, the object, or, you know, the object of your video right here. You have the, uh, the title on the left side. You know, it just everything all nice, clear, and slick, and all that. But yeah, this is what the YouTube algorithm looks at. Um, I actually took a look. I have, a set. I have 72 subscribers, and I've been creating content for probably seven years, I think. So, so yeah, I won't be getting no thousand subscribers anytime soon. Oh, uh. no, I ain't got to be huge, but I'll bet it's got to be bigger than mine. Like I said, won't be getting no hot, won't be getting no 1K subs anytime soon. Great quality content. I just talked about this. Nope. Again, I'm not anti-quality, but hey, I got, I have, I have to be able to put out the content quick. 
I don't want to be spending all night on one video. But I got this beat in spades, though. I usually put out. But yeah, I'm, I try to I try to do a cast video on all my nights off. So you're looking at at least four videos a week right there. And that's a regular schedule. Um, I can kind of see this, but I'm also the kind of person that I don't like. I don't want to be stuck doing one type all the time. I want to branch out and do other things. Like this sponsorship video, or like this sponsorship article, for example. So. Okay, um. Search engine optimization. Tell anybody in Bed IQ. Uh, as far as I know, it doesn't work this way anymore. Uh, whenever you're, uh, whenever you're, uh, when you're working on your video, you can, uh, you can type down various tags, like keywords and stuff like that. Back in the day, it was actually pretty vital that you did this, otherwise, uh, people wouldn't be able to find your stuff. These days. Um, the YouTube algorithm looks at watch time and less on tags. Tags play a minimal role in, um, in your viewership. So, this part here, it doesn't really work anymore. Uh-uh. Abso-fucking-lutely not. This is one of the things that uh, turns me off on your channel. One of the first things out of your mouth is, please make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. I hear that, and if your content isn't already stuff I like, I'm leaving your video, possibly not even coming back again. So, include a link with a call to action in your video. I never heard of that. No idea what that is. But like I like I said, tell me. Telling me to like and subscribe is a huge turnoff with me. So, if I like you enough, I'm already gonna like and subscribe to you. You ain't gotta tell me. I mean, to me, it's more like desperate pandering or begging than it is to pr promotion stuff. But again, I don't sat. I don't. I don't satisfy any of these, so... That's much value. Um... Yeah, I kind of... I kind of view it like this too, but again... Um... They're... They're saying that uh, a very dreadfully low number of subs is a thousand. I only got 72. Would I count? I doubt it. And uh, Emperor Lemon, uh, legendary content creator, he, also, he had a video called Empty Subscribers. Like, um, uh, like, uh, subs are basically a type of commodity. Um, I see this on Twitter all the time. You know, you can, um... Things like, uh, free retweets. Um, there's actual, uh, retweet channels on Twitter. You know, hashtag... You know, ha hashtag retweet whatever. Um, whenever I post my Final Fantasy XIV blog on there, I use them. So... But it ba basically... What, but I kind of, uh, it's kind of like what they're saying here. Lukewarm viewers, but hell, a lot of those viewers, or a lot of those subs, actually don't even exist. At least not physically. So, um, continue to, continue to refine and style, and boy, 
And this is something that the only way you're really going to do is to basically put in the work. You're not going to figure this out overnight. Like I said, I've, I've been doing, I've been uh, creating content for about seven years now. And once again, 72 subs, so... Even then, I'm still far from great. Um, again, learn video editing tips and all that. Um, I think I said this earlier. I'm not anti-quality, but I have to be able to. I have to be able to edit and make the videos. Just like that. I don't want to be spending all night making the stuff. So, if any other, if there's a, whatever other video editing software is out there, it has to be just as easy, if not easier, than Windows Movie Maker. And from what I've seen, uh, they ain't out there. Um, and this is, I think this is pretty much where, um, where I stopped and decided to make this video. So, I am really am going off the top of my head on these. Reach out to brands. I don't satisfy any of the other requirements, so this doesn't really, uh, this doesn't really apply to me. A media kit. Canva. Uh. Yeah. Nope. Okay, and this is something else too. There's, there's not really gonna be any um, any brands out there that would align with the content you create. You know, I mean. What the fuck would a would a fighting game channel want with Manscaped? You know, hair uh, hair grooming kit. And I think there was even a there was even a sales pitch in there that you could even use it on your pubes. So once again, why would a fighting game channel want some want to want to hook up with something like this? Yeah, um. Another channel, the Vile Eye. They uh, they make a uh, analyzing evil videos. They kind of, they're um, the guy on there. He kind of sponsorship like sponsorships are like all over the place. Hell, I'm, if he did a if he did a sponsor plug for Raid Shadow Legends, I wouldn't be surprised. I don't think he, he's not even a gamer, as far as I know. He just does analysis videos on evil characters like in movies and stuff. So, yeah, but to be fair, with a vile eye, he'll warn you first at the start of a video. But first, let's talk a moment about our sponsor for this video. So, out of respect for him, I'll at least watch maybe the first seconds of the ad just to see what he's advertising. But after that, I'm warping ahead. Um, I'm warping ahead the next few minutes to get to the actual video. So, but I mean, like, like I said, for something like that, at least, at least he warned you first. So I'll at least watched a few sec, few, few seconds just to see what he's advertising. But yeah, he had a, he was advertising genealogy.com. He was, I think he was also advertising. Uh, I think it was gluten-free products and that kind of thing, you know, on a video where he talks about the Joker. Like, no? So, yeah. And, yeah, this, which also confused and annoyed me as well. Okay, so, yeah. A lot of this is probably just going to go over my head. Yeah, a simple Google search can take care of all this. <laughs> NordVPN.
I almost want to say, uh, all the all the employees are like dressed like pimps. You know, they got the big feather in their hat, and they're all immaculate and all that. Sorry if that doesn't make any sense. Same with Raid Shadow Legends. I'm pretty sure all the employees there, they're all dressed like pimps. Go to a brand's website. Order, whatever that is. Fame bit. YouTube's on. Okay. You must be part of the YouTube park. Okay, and same thing here. I don't know about my watch time, but I doubt it's 4,000 hours old. I have, I don't have near 1,000 subs, so once again, most of this doesn't even apply to me. All one platform, you need to have, duh. Um. But again, from what I'm reading of this article, the uh, the sponsors, they're not uh, they're not being too they're not being intrusive when they do this. So, however you want to plug that sponsor is up to you. So once again, whatever you put your spot, whatever you plug a sponsor right smack in the middle of a in the middle of a video, that's a dick move. So yeah, it's on you, not the sponsor. Again, unless unless there's uh, some kind of documentation out there that says otherwise well, I'm not seeing it in here okay expand beyond YouTube I, this is what I do I, I said it earlier on all my nights off I um I do a blog I do a, I post a cast video, short for podcast for those that don't know, um, and I also, on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I, um, I post my experiences on a, on a Final Fantasy XIV blog, the Lodestone blog, so I do that. Uh, social media, aside from uh, posting, that, uh, posting that blog on Twitter, I have basically no contact with social media, I don't mess with it. Especially Facebook. Jesse on a journey, never heard of it. I don't know. Oh, I remember this. Um one of my favorite channels, um, Narrow. He's a uh, he makes text he makes uh texture packs and you know like he, I think he's a graphics designer for uh, you know for like games and stuff like that his name's Narrow but he's he's almost the same as me like he's he basically said it like he doesn't do he won't do sponsorships or any kind of paid promotions and all that other tacky garbage which that that's exactly what that he that's he nailed it that's the exact word tacky so that could be a good substitute for a dick move. It's very tacky when you put your ad, when you plug your sponsor right, right in the middle of a, right in the middle of a video. In fact, I just thought of this too. Um, I think I might have mentioned this on my cast video too. Um, one channel I used to like, but not anymore. Um, Jim Cornette. He does a podcast. I mean, I still like Jim. I still like him as a person, but as a video maker, no. He's uh, he does the same thing too, but. He's even more insidious about it. Like he'll he'll plug a sponsor, but he'll try to he'll try to couch the words in such a way as it's like part of a normal conversation, like a casual conversation. He ain't fooling me. So, but yeah, that, that that falls under the realm of tackiness. But uh, Nero actually showed his uh, I his pay stub, for lack of a better word. Like all the money he's made from uh, like from my ad revenue or from his Patreon, I think, eleven dollars. That's all he made, eleven bucks. So, so for all the hoops you have to jump through and you know all the all the sucking, pucking, and cajoling you have to do to get paid sponsorships, that's it, 
eleven dollars, so not worth it. Okay, so yeah, it, again, most of this doesn't even apply to me. Three hundred fifteen per video. Yeah, so. Hell, I don't, yeah, I don't even have 500. So. Okay. Alrighty, so it looks like that was the article. And uh, for those that are curious, the music I was playing was Stone Rebels Trinity album. Um, I, I played this music before. Um, it's copyright free, free to use, so definitely a keeper. So, but otherwise, that'll do it. Um, I just covered everything I wanted to cover on the article. So, but thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and um, I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.